Hefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefters, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. This guy's Mighty gross. footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards, and to disable Tiffany. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwillem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwillem's special something. Maybe Mother Mordron will know the content. The meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevdor's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevdor gone, Glowachester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. <laughs> Tacky with old blood from the new king. It would be best to lie low. Have a look, Sunan. Hello again. Mother? Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! Damn Christ, sons, what is it they want now? They make this place unlivable for pagans. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
my eyes soon. And... That must be the home of the druid. <laughs> Just as Mordrin said. Maybe I should disguise myself. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh. But the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Helewin said that the Wickermen must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Wickerman speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. Shit! Let there be cacophony. One more. One more. Dagger is placed upside down. A hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. carved from a single branch. The grooves match. <laughs> Speak to me, O oh wind! I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I'm a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Man and woman are made of earth, of water and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. 
Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit? Screaming secrets. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The Skull's Soul's Charm summons voices from Death's realm. In such fashion, I speak to Druids long dead. But of course, you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Glowachester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep, I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladrin. Kuthladrin. <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leave. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby. you see? I can see Modron ahead. Modron, well met. Gods, someone save me. A murderous Dane is here to sever my head from my neck. You could have told me of your plight earlier. We are both friends of Bridget, and I know you would do nothing to jeopardize your friend. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Teftir. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Ladrin, Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Teftir and myself. Kuth Ludrin is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let us make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor.
This forest and all Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse for- There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tefter's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Kuthladrin, the thief's warren. This is where I leave you. We'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine safe. nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Tefter's voice, so he lives. That must be where Quilim is hiding. Oh shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kunin, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sell swords you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice and scapegoat, Gwilim. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Teftir killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but you have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to lie, having him around. Tell her! Tell her we've taken care of you! Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing to... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up! Wake up! Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow! Ah, move, fool! Ah. 
Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. After, sir. Thank you. It is much appreciated. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. To save your strength, Defter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This grave has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's hurt to the touch, and his mind fades in and out. But he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once. The boy and Kunon. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modron. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunan before the festivals end. <laughs>